What up, freaks? Welcome to containment day of the quarantine physique trainer, where we're going to be pumping heavy iron for muscular strength and development. First thing we're going to do is warm up. It's the most important part. Don't forget it. Unless you're dead, and even when you're dead, still warm up. It's very important to make your muscles and joints tight. If you have a pipe or a band or some bones or a shovel or have access to any of that, we're gonna start with some pass-throughs to warm up your shoulders, rotator cuffs, chest, core tight, and remember to breathe. We're calling that 15. So since this pipe is super long and our bunker ceilings are super short and we don't wanna knock it out and wake up the zombies upstairs, I'm gonna kneel and do shoulder circles like this. So we're gonna do five of these on each side. Beautiful. You don't have a PVC pipe, or a pipe, I recommend you get one because they're super cheap and super easy. You basically have never done CrossFit before if you've never used a PVC pipe to warm up. I like to start basically every workout with just a little bit of a yoga flow to get the whole body warmed up. All them tendons loose, pop up to a plank, and we're gonna do some alternating side opener lunges, three on each leg. Try to reach back as far as you can and open up your chest, getting your whole body functioning as a zombie killing unit. Now we're ready to kill zombies and pump iron. Bitch, I'm just staring you down. I'm staring right at you, I'm staring through your soul. I can see your muscles, I can see your blood. I can see you behind me pissing. <laughs> I know y'all are gonna try to cocaine. Hey. Didn't see you there. So we started with 10 standing dumbbell military presses. We're gonna superset that with pull-ups, specifically weighted pull-ups, and then we're gonna drop the weight and do as many pull-ups as you can. I start with these two exercises in an upper body strength routine because they're the two hardest to do. If you are working with limited weights or you only have bands or skulls or whatever you got in your bunker, just do as many as you can of whatever you can. Without further fucking around, let's go do some pull ups. sit chin-ups this time. The difference between a pull-up and a chin-up, nobody knows this. A pull-up is hands this way. A chin-up is reverse grip and it's closer. You get your chin-up above, above the bar is what they make you do in elementary school and shit and it sucks and engages more of your bicep as well as your lower lat. So we're going to take a reverse grip. Why we're going to do an L-sit just to make it a little bit harder. If you're not that advanced, don't do an L-sit. But that is just keeping your legs straight out in front of you as you do a pull-up, engaging your core. It is a wonderful exercise. Hope you can do it with me. All right, freaks. What we got here is a cheap little weight bench. If you don't have one of them, you can use a chair or you can use your ass on the floor and stop being a bitch. I'm gonna be a bitch and use the weight bench. If you can't do an L-sit chin up, we're gonna do a substitute for it, which is a bicep curl with a leg pull in. Now I got this rusty old barbell, grip it nice and wide. I'm gonna start with our legs out. From here we're gonna do a seated bicep curl. So this is simulating the chin up part of the chin up. And this is gonna simulate the L-sit Bring your legs in, come back, right? So that's a regression, L, C, a chin up. That's one way to do it. Way to do it that's harder, you keep your legs elevated and then bicep curl that way, brace your core, 
Now, if you don't have one of these really old deranged looking barbells, I'm sure you got some water bottles. Maybe they're not as cool as this one, this lift weights drink blood water bottle that you can possibly get for free with your next order on deathcomeslifting.com. Fill this motherfucker up with ice, water. You'd be surprised how heavy these things get if you fill them up with zombie entrails. And then from here, we can do the same thing we were doing with the barbell, right? It might not look like it's all that, better than doing nothing if you can't do the L-Cinch, you know, and watch your guns grow and reload them, because that's what we want for the zombie apocalypse. Single arm, single leg, cross body, kettlebell deadlifts. Say that five times fast first, and then you can start. If this is too advanced for you, you can just do a regular deadlift with any weight you got. So if you're holding the kettlebell with your right hand, which I am, your back leg's gonna come back. You're gonna bring the kettlebell down to the ground. You're gonna use your left leg, your glute, and your back to pull that back up. And we're gonna do six of those motherfuckers on each side. To make it a little bit harder, you don't have to have your foot touch the floor each time. So you're constantly balancing. Then you're gonna flip and do the other side. Don't leave your skeletons in my workspace anymore, Billy. We're gonna keep the kettlebell. We're gonna go back to the other side and do six single arm kettlebell rows. So you're gonna place your left foot in front, slight bend, and like you're starting a chainsaw, break it up. So I'm gonna do 10. You feel free to do whatever the fuck you want. Switch and even out the other side. Maybe I'm just really good at starting chainsaws, I don't know. And that's one set. We're gonna do three more. You can use a dumbbell if you don't have a kettlebell. If uh, you're really off balance and you've never done this before, you don't have to use any weight. For a lot of people, just doing this is plenty hard enough to do six times. Or you can use a severed limb, holding in both your hands, some rope. Some chains. I know you got that laying around your trunk. Don't act like you don't. I know what you do. I know where you lift. I see you. Just be good. Just keep your core tight and stay positive and keep kicking ass. That's all you need. Peace. <laughs> Motherfuckers ready to crush some skulls with Death Comes Lifting? Well, here you go. We're going to do a skull crusher with a dragon flag or for you mere mortals, a leg raise. If you don't have a bench, you can do this on the floor. If you don't have a trusty old fashioned torture-esque barbell, you can do it with water bottles, you can do it with a dumbbell, you can do it with fucking soup cans. I don't give a shit, just work your triceps because nobody wants weak triceps, especially in the apocalypse. You can start with your feet on the ground, bend your elbows, stretch your triceps from here. The only joint that should move is your elbow joint. Don't throw your shoulder. Just straight up, all the focus on your tricep. Leg raise, bring it down nice and slow. Continue with that. 10 times. I think I did like 30. Don't have enough weight to fail in the prescribed rep range? Doesn't matter, do as many as you can. I'd rather have you repping it out than missing out. But we're rolling, but blacked out. Blacked out. I have the coronavirus. I don't know what anybody's saying anymore. You know what I mean? Keep your core tight on these. Initiate with your ass back. Hoorah. Bend your knees a little bit. Core still tight. And then from here, we're rowing this into your belly button. Banging it up. Like Dorian Yates. If you don't know who Dorian Yates is, kids, go do your fucking homework. Hold all applause till the end. We're going to superset that with reverse grip push ups. If you've never done those before, Start on a bench with dumbbells just to get used to the motion and do reverse grip bench press. We're going to hit the deck for some push ups. Hit the deck. Start this in a standard push up position just to get your elbow joints and tendons used to this kind of awkward position if you're not used to it. Right? So that's going to involve your biceps in a different way, your triceps, and also your upper chest. With push-ups or any bodyweight exercise, we're just gonna bang out as many of these as we can. 
probably gonna be like 6,000 for me, so we might be here all day. For our last two exercises, we're gonna max out on a handstand hold, kick up against the wall with your arms extended, hold it for as long as you can. We're gonna finish this bitch out with 50 goblet squats, holding a kettlebell, barbell, your body weight, or a zombie head. Luckily, I have all of those things. I'm gonna hold it one time. Kettlebell zombie head. We're gonna hold this at your chest. 50 squats, as many sets as you need. If you can't do 50, you're gonna get 50 or you're gonna die trying. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. 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 <laughs>